it's project time again. Well, it's miniature project. We'll call it a micro project. This is my uh, motorhome. It's a 93 Gulfstream Tourmaster. So it's got an onboard air compressor that uh, that works the air brakes and the uh, the uh, airbags for the suspension. I started the other day because we're getting ready to go out of town <clears throat> for a very short trip. And uh, the thing ran for about 30 or 45 minutes. And wouldn't you know, it acts right every other day except when you're about to go out of town, right? So kept hearing an air leak back from this section back here somewhere. At first, it, it almost sounded like an exhaust leak. So I assumed it was coming from somewhere in the exhaust because this is exactly the area the sound was coming from. Looking at it a little closer, I realized that I wasn't building air pressure. Uh, and that's unusual because it usually builds air pressure very quickly. And after quite a few minutes of running, I had no air pressure left. So obviously that's a problem because with uh, air brake systems, if you lose air pressure, then the brakes apply and uh, you're not going to go anywhere unless you cage the brakes or back them off manually, which can't drive it like that. So anyway, bottom line is it need to be fixed. We're leaving day after tomorrow. Looking around a little closer, found out that uh, the purge valve on the air dryer was actually where the noise was coming from. I shipped the new one out and uh, it came in today. So this video is going to be a very quick uh, video of me replacing the air purge solenoid. So hope you enjoy it. There's the purge valve. I've already had this thing off of here once and it was just purging pretty much non-stop. Took it apart, kind of looked at it. The little piston in there was a little bit sticky. So I cleaned it up a little bit, kind of cleaned it off, put it back together and um, it held. But I don't know if I trust it or not. We're about to leave going camping over this weekend. And the last thing I want to do is have an air problem, an air issue while we're there. That was a lot of water that came out of that thing. As a matter of fact, interesting. All right, so there's the old valve. Get the new valve. See what happens there. Maybe that'll be good. I'm going to reuse my old bolts, I think. I'll keep the other ones <clears throat> just in case I need them. And it doesn't look like that goes on there anymore. It's a little bit different style valve. I hope everything lines up. Right. Guess we're about to find out, huh? I looked at this particular part number. It's a Bendix part number. And the particular one, their exact part number is... Um, no longer available so I hope that doesn't mean that hope that doesn't mean that we are just hosed from the word go we'll see luckily it's super easy to change and not a problem at all This motorhome is a Gulfstream Tourmaster built on a Spartan chassis with a Cummins 
6 CTA 8.3 diesel. Plug my heater back up here. And uh, it's got about 65, 66,000 miles, something like that on it. Not many. That's about what you find with most motorhomes. No miles. But a lot of, uh, a lot of wear and tear. Nonetheless. Okay, let's go see what this does. Okay, let's run inside and see if, get this thing started up and see if that made any difference at all. So we've got good oil pressure, that's here. We've already got some front air and some rear air left over from the other day. This thing holds air pretty well. It's been about two days since it's been started. These two guys right here are my generator up front, my diesel generator. So <laughs> oil pressure zero, nah, not really. That's uh, because it's not running. So let's see if we can build up some air. While this thing's running, we're gonna go back there and just kind of take a peek underneath and make sure that we don't hear massive air escaping. I don't think we do because it's already building air really fast, so. By the way, this will be a noise alert for anybody with headphones. It's probably going to be a little bit loud back here, so just so you know. I'm going to go back in there and just let it build up some air pressure until uh, we get up to about the 120 pound mark. And uh, see how that goes. Yeah, it's already building air way, way faster than, than it did before, than it did when it was experiencing the problem. About 120 pounds now, and there went the purge. Super duper, that's what I needed to know right there. So, at exactly 120 pounds, it purged. So that's, uh, that's, that's awesome. Pump the brakes a few times here, get the air down, get the compressor to start back up. And we'll build again. There it goes, coming on back up. So, hopefully, when we get to about 120 again, this thing will go ahead and purge.
Well, what do you know? It purged. Okay, I think that's a wrap on this little micro project. Stay tuned for tons more. Okay, we fixed it. I'm sure we'll have plenty more to do on this, this thing. At some point I'll do a video on this just for people who are interested in motorhomes and RVs and that type of stuff. Um, of course, I do a lot of maintenance work and such to this. So, so anyway, thanks for watching. Appreciate you uh, giving your time here.